Good morning. Welcome to another right in the edge vlog. Today I'm just out looking around my new neighborhood. <laughs> my name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. I think it's important to get get to know locations near where you live that you can get to pretty quickly if the conditions are right for photography. This is really my first outing since we've moved to this new community. And I'm trying to find places that are like within 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes of the house. And uh, I just decided to stop here and take a look around the backside of a lake. Probably won't be taking any pictures today. I've got my stuff anyway, just in case. This is more of a, just getting acquainted with the neighborhood. But if I do find a photograph, I'll, I'll make an image, but uh, I'm not really, that's really not my main focus. It's just uh, seeing what's out here. Really, the conditions aren't very good today. Blue skies. We've got a prominent lake just just uh, at the edge of town and uh, a river running right next to it or running probably probably in the uh, actual city limits but it's kind of on the edge of town so those are gonna have potential I think for when I just want to grab a bag real quick and and uh, see if I can find a photograph we do have a new addition to the family I guess I can announce that today we have a new puppy. She's a sweetheart. Doesn't every landscape photographer need a, uh, a sidekick? Well, I have a new one. I have a, a uh, sidekick in training. She's 11 weeks old. And her name is Nori. Well, if there's a, ever some mist or fog on the water, there might be potential here for a shot. Right now, it's not really anything. But as we all know, a little mist, a little fog, just makes a photograph better. This is uh, some place to keep in mind. And then my goal is to. Uh, get back to some normalcy get it back out with my camera get back to working on some photography projects and sharing some of my thoughts and ideas on photography and photography related topics I guess that's what a photography YouTube channel is supposed to do right And if you haven't uh, noticed, I have a a newsletter <laughs> that uh, you can subscribe to on my website. It's at the bottom of the page. On any page on my website, writingedgephotography.com. Boy, I'm out of shape. If you want to be kept in the loop on what's going on, Go ahead and send me your, give me your email address and when I have a, something new to show you, I'll uh, send out a newsletter. I haven't had a lot to show you lately. I'm hoping that changes. Well, I'm uh, in what I guess is called a nature preserve. 
<laughs> which is a city park owned by this by the city of Sweet Home and uh, this this has potential for uh, for something in the, with grasses and uh, that type of thing it's just at the, at the end of a neighborhood so it's kind of weird I, I saw it on the map and, and saw this big chunk of green space on the map and thought well what is that <laughs> Turns out this is a part of the city park system. I think it's like 60 acres of grassland and trees. It's um, something that probably will be worth exploring a little bit for, for different kinds of photography. It doesn't look like a lot of people take advantage of this area. They don't really have any trails. Hopefully I'm not getting getting into some kind of dicey area here. <laughs> but it's uh, it's weird. It's just right at the edge of town and it's um, got kind of a wild feel to it. Kind of a, a natural uh, grassland wooded feel to it. This is probably five minutes from my house. You would think I was uh, in some remote location. A little, a little band of uh, mist would go a long ways to making this kind of a cool location for a photograph. Hopefully there's not too much drug activity out here. <laughs> you never know what you're getting into when you're not really familiar with an area. That's kind of cool for something that's so close to town, having uh, this kind of this this kind of open wild space that they've just kind of left that way. It's nice that they haven't developed it. I guess this this kind of land would only really appeal to someone maybe like me who wants to take some different kind of photographs, or maybe someone wants to walk their dog or something. But there's not a lot of not a lot to draw. I guess your average person here. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they've just kind of set it aside for uh, just to let it be kind of wild. That's kind of unique in a park system, a, a city park system actually. At least it's, it's unique to me. It's not something I've seen before. The tendency is to develop these places, put baseball fields in them. Right now I see some backlit spider webs and that kind of thing. It's the time of year. If I can find something like that to photograph while I'm out here. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm finding that where these, there's a lot more webs in here than I thought. And there are quite a few with spiders, spiders in them, just finding the right one. And, and uh, I'm just, just shooting handheld right now. It's a little creepy because I don't like spiders. <laughs> but um, some of the small stuff here, I'm actually starting to see now. Some interesting seed heads and uh, spider webs. Wish there's a little bit more dew. You know, I'm always complaining about something. So yeah, we have a new. I have a new sidekick, and she's a little young to be joining me on these adventures right now. But I'm looking forward to having her come with me out here, out taking pictures. Now her job is to protect me from myself. I have a tendency to misjudge places or, or not think about safety first when I'm out by myself. Years ago I used to take a dog with me for that very reason. There was a time when I was, I was doing a, a, a shoot up in the Cascades and I'd, I'd climbed this, this little peak thing and it was trying to get a good elevation, a good shot on this uh, Mount Washington. And uh, when I got back to the car, I started... I look, well, just before I got back to the car, I looked back to where I'd been 
and it kind of dawned on me that, you know, it's probably not the best to be doing that kind of hiking by yourself. And so at this point I started taking a dog with me um, on my photography outings. Because I'm not that worried about myself, but I would never put my dog <laughs> in any kind of harm's way if I, if I can help it. There was a time where I, I did a lot of photography with, with dogs for that reason, just to kind of keep me from, from uh, doing dumb things. And it's also kind of rewarding. It's kind of nice to have that little companion with you out in the woods. But lately, the last you know, quite a few years, I guess, my dogs either have been the wrong breed, they just didn't work well off leash, or they're just, you know, a little of it too driven, too prey driven, wrong kind of breed. Or, and then they, then they were getting older as well, that I just would, I wasn't going to take them with me on, those, on, on uh, my photo outings. But this, this new, uh, new puppy, she should be an excellent choice for, for the uh, photography. She's a, a collie. She's a herding dog, and she'll uh, she should train pretty easy. And her her job will be to keep me uh, keep me safe. Well, this is supposed to be exploratory. <laughs> I'm getting bogged down with my camera. I can't can't uh, resist trying to make a few images while I'm out here. I'm not really covering much ground. <laughs> There's a lot here that I, I think when I have a little more time, I can exploit for photographs, so I will be back, most likely. Now this is interesting. This is some interesting land. I think I'm going to end this video here as I work my way out of this thicket. I just really was just out wanting to explore the area where I live or where I live now and see what if there's any potential out here for photographs. I didn't really get didn't really uh, take any photographs worth mentioning. If I have one I'll I'll throw it up in, in at the end of this video. Just taking you along my little scouting trip getting acquainted with my neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> so until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. <laughs>